Woman's War Drama in England in the 17th Century by Brenda Liddy This book examines how English women playwrights in the 17th century Aphra Behn, Margaret Cavendish, Jane Cavendish, Elizabeth Brackley and Catherine Phillips found material for drama in their response to the upheaval of the Civil War. Women warriors, peacemaker women and female communities are a key focus of the study which charts how social turmoil over five decades equipped female dramatists to create their own discourse of war as they translated complex politics onto stage. Setting a precedent with its scrutiny of the neglected theme of early modern woman-authored war drama, the work, replete with theoretical perspectives, makes an innovative and significant contribution to literary criticism. The study focuses on three key areas, representation of women's communities, representation of female warriors, and representation of women as peacemakers. The plays are thus considered thematically rather than chronologically. The work is organised around focal points starting with women's community in early modern drama in chapters 2 and 3, moving on to representations of female warriors in chapters 4 and 5, and finally considering representations of peacemakers in chapters 6 and 7. The research shows that the work of these extraordinary women was created by the Civil War culture and that because of their interaction with the war, they were also shaping a literary discourse of war. Attention to these women's texts reveals their social embedment in early modern history and discloses the historicity of texts and the textuality of history. The book sets a precedent by establishing a model for women's war drama, and this has never been done before in previous studies, and thus the book makes an innovative and significant contribution to the field. It is extremely well researched and provides the reader with an understanding of theoretical perspectives, relevant criticism and women's dramatic writing of the 17th century. Chapter 1. Setting the Scene a contextual examination of women's drama in the early modern period. Chapter 2 Female Community in Jane Cavendish and Elizabeth Brackley's The Concealed Fancies and Margaret Cavendish, Duchess of Newcastle's The Sociable Companions Our pedantical servants have given us up for a prey to the enemy. Chapter 3 Representations of Female Community in Afro Ben's The Rover and the feigned courtesans. The devil take this cursed plotting age. Chapter 4. Representations of female soldiers in Margaret Cavendish's Love's Adventures and Belle and Campo. Shall only men be conquerors and women slaves? Chapter 5. Representations of female soldiers in Afra Ben's The Young King and the Widow Ranter. Though she be no natural Amazon, she's capable of all their martial fopperies. And that's a quotation from the young king. And a quotation from um, representa- uh, yeah, chapter 6, Representation of Women as Peacemakers in Catherine Phillips' Pompeii and Horace. Why should we tear ourselves with civil war? Chapter 7. Representation of women as peacemakers in Afra Bends, the Roundheads, and the City Heiress. Never was a civil war feared more than now. And a review. Liddy's study of women's war drama in 17th century England throws light on other female authored war literature. This is a rewarding work written in a clear and understandable style which makes an original contribution to the subject. This is from the Modern Language Review.